Smog is choking off air quality in large cities around the world. Thick smoke billows from factories, cars clog highways, and pump exhaust behind them. Scientists say greenhouse gases are raising air pollution to unhealthy levels. Fossil fuels still power the Industrial Revolution, but researchers hope renewable resources will soon power more of our planet and save it. The quest for better biomass fuels takes us to America's heartland. Inside Science Corn is one of America's biggest cash crops. Huge fields fill America's heartland with rows of golden maize. We already use corn-based ethanol in our cars, but scientists want to create more cost-effective fuels from our nation's natural resources. In labs across America, researchers are trying to engineer effective biomass fuels to meet America's energy needs. Jason Bice is doing his part. He believes the best biofuels of tomorrow could come from the skin that covers a tiny corn kernel. That coating is called pericarp, and it's a key ingredient in ethanol. What pericarp is, is it's the shell of the corn kernel. They fractionate the corn first. It's milled, so the corn is already fractured into a lot of pieces. It's fractionated into its starch, its oil, and its pericarp, the skin components. The pericarp is then separated out and then fed back through, and they put enzymes into these batches of corn pericarp. And the enzymes, they digest the pericarp skin and they release from the pericarp starch and cellulose. That cellulose ferments and becomes a key component in ethanol. Researchers are working on ways to make that cellulose solution flow well with other liquids so we can pump it through pipes and into our gas tanks. As you introduce cellulose and the hemicellulose and the starches into the system from the enzymes digesting it, you create a more complex fluid that creates a lot of very interesting behavior. Biomass engineers are working to find the perfect flow rate using corn kernel skin to make mass production of ethanol easier. We're going to look at characterizing that fluid with ultrasound speckled glossometry. And so basically what that is, is it's a tool that uses ultrasound to image how fluid is moving within a rheometer. Researchers have obstacles to overcome as they work on using corn kernel skins in renewable fuels. Cost is one concern. Right now, researchers can make diluted biomass fuels with lots of water and low salt concentrations, but they need a better formula. It's not cost effective because at the end, they have to take out that water through heating. It costs a lot of money, it takes a lot of energy. Solving these problems will help scientists engineer renewable fuels that can compete with oil, gas, and coal. It's important work to move tomorrow's ethanol industry from a tiny kernel of corn in the lab to an energy source that can fuel our planet's clean energy needs. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.